Welcome to this special edition of Real Talk about real estate with Peter and Nicole. And today we've got a bit of a special edition uh, where we're going to recap 20 big things that happened in real estate. Uh, it's been a big year, so uh, let's get right at it to avoid this taking 20 minutes. All right, number one, uh, there were some forecasts that the market was going to dip something to the order of 17%. That seemed to be completely wrong. Pools began to have a distinguishable premium. Uh, Aeon Studios is opening up in Hamilton. That's going to be one of Ontario's premier studios in the North End. The renovation and building process changed uh, in the sense that it became really difficult to get tradespeople uh, in because they were in high demand. Lumber went through the roof. Yeah, concrete uh, through the roof. Permits, getting uh, the permit application, unpredictable timelines there, so change the landscape. Uh, the LRT was quashed at some point and now looks like it's getting revived, hopefully. Are we throwing our cards? You don't have to do what I do, but uh, <laughs> gave away a ton of ice cream. Um, so I fact checked and it turns out that this ice cream truck, truck night happened in September. I thought it was October because it, I remember it being a very chilly night, um, but it was apparently only chilly when the sun went down. However, I point that out because I thought we were going to have a very low turnout because who wants yeah. ice cream on a cold night, Everybody. but it was lined up to the road for the entire evening and that was a really um, standout moment for me about how important the feeling of community is in this era of COVID. It was as simple as yeah. parking an ice cream truck, giving away ice cream and everybody in the town turned out. It seemed like looking for something to do. Uh, rents in Toronto went from about 2,600 on average uh, at the end of 2019 to about 2,000 on average uh, where we are now. I did have a question about that one when we were talking about it. Um, do you think that applies to our area? No, that's Toronto. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, Hamilton's held strong more or less. Yeah. So distinguishable. Um, Wolcott office coming soon to downtown Hamilton. It's a pretty hip spot, so I'm pretty excited uh, for, yeah. early, for when this is happening in early 2021. Uh, there was a realtor in BC who got caught stealing some fruit. If you saw that, that was a pretty funny thing that happened. If you didn't see it, Google it. Yeah. Uh, vertical commute, the jargon vertical commute became a thing. So for people uh, living in a condo building that maybe, you know, they're on the 18th floor and um, you can only have two people in the elevator at one time, people begin to calculate how long is it going to take me to get to my condo. So maybe a shift towards being um rather uh rather being on the you know floors that you can take the stairs to yeah yeah uh virtual appointments became a thing everyone had to kind of adjust so now we're doing still doing lots of showings through zoom uh and open houses done virtually on facebook live a little bit nerve-wracking but that's the new reality <laughs> uh, and as an extension of that the offer process in general has really shifted almost entirely to be electronic. Um, gone are the days where we can present the offer in person with our clients waiting in the mm -hmm. car in case there's any changes to be made and have to sign in person. Uh, DocuSign has really taken a foothold um, and you know the offer process has entirely been electronic, which means you can buy and sell a house from virtually anywhere yeah. because it's just all done over computer. Uh, just like that ice cream night we had, we had the biggest coat drive ever, and that was in October, and that was warm. Uh, virtual staging became more prominent, I would say, in 2020 than it has been For previously. Sure. Uh, it's really quite an odd thing, in my opinion. Um, you know, it's where they just, on the photos, virtually stage a space that might be empty. Um, and then you get to the property and you're like, whoa, this, this, is ba yeah, this, <laughs> this basement isn't finished. I thought it was finished or whatever. And then you read the, the little, you know, icon in the bottom Asterisk. right, <laughs> yeah, virtually staged. Uh, the Ontario Real Estate College is closing while well, it's being 
hand it over to Humber College. So the dynamics of getting your real estate license have changed quite a bit. I don't know if it's harder or easier, but it seems to be a little bit harder. So we'll see how that affects the real estate market or employee market, I guess. Um, setting up utilities in your new home, uh, in particular internet. I had a few clients who told me that when they called their internet service provider, they literally would come to the home but stand outside of the home, talk to them on the phone, walk them through um, setting up the various components, the various pieces of equipment, and we kind of laughed about it afterwards, like they now know how to like run wires or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, getting your internet set up. Totally different. Uh, the other thing that's different is all client interactions are much different. Now when someone calls into the office, uh, we're sending them a bomb bomb or a video or we're setting up a scheduled time to have a face to face on Zoom rather than having them come direct in the office or going directly to their house. It's all being done virtually and uh, I guess we're just kind of used to it by now. Yeah. Standard practice. Um, furnishing the new house really changed for a good chunk of 2020. It was unpredictable whether you could even order furniture. Certainly unpredictable when it would arrive. Um, so that made things a bit trickier and then we would get creative by maybe writing in pieces of furniture into the uh, agreement so that somebody didn't move in and had an empty house for yeah. however much time. Uh, interest rates, I think at the end of 2019, if you look at the five-year fixed average, they were about 2.5% at the end of the year last year. And now they're having around 1.5% for a five-year fix. So basically a full percentage point drop uh, on interest rates this year. Home buying pre preferences. Um, I was about to say that I really wanted to end on this one, but then I realized you have more cards than I do, so. Uh, no, these are before I started throwing them. Oh, okay. I'm so done. yes, this is number 20. Um, it became really obvious that people's, what they're looking for in a home changed, and that's because what we use the home for has really changed. It became the home gym, it became the home office, the place for school, the place of worship. Um, so people were really looking for a house that can accommodate that, a backyard where you can go and unwind. Um, and it just uh, really became a good reminder that loving where you live uh, never became more important. Yeah, huge difference in the what people are buying. The real property values have gone through the roof. Oh geez. Anything with a nice backyard, yeah, yeah. cool. Much different. <laughs> uh, well, it wouldn't be real talk with a little bit of fact or fiction. So Nicole, I've got one for you, fact or fiction. Ready. Uh, you wrap all your presents in newspaper. That is a fact. It takes a very unique occasion for me to actually go out and buy wrapping paper that you're just going to tear apart in a matter of min minutes. So yeah, <laughs> newspaper is the way to go. Yeah. Peter, fact or fiction, um, you are done your Christmas shopping. That was a fact just up until a few minutes ago where I realized I have to buy about three more presents. Not only about this time is when I start my shopping, yeah. but you'd be pooched this year because of uh, waiting for delivery time. So forced to do it wouldn't in have, regular time. I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> Well, I think that's a wrap on this episode and almost the year. Yeah, that's a wrap. And remember, if this wasn't your year, it's pretty much next year. <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays.